What if you could automate web-based tasks faster than ever before without lifting a single finger? Imagine freeing up hours of your time every day, effortlessly streaming workflows and focusing on what truly matters, all with just a few clicks. Sounds like a game changer. Well, this is something that we're going to be exploring throughout today's video. Around a month ago, we had all explored Anthropic's new release called the Computer Use API, where developers can direct Claude to use computers the way humans do, by looking at a screen, moving a cursor, clicking buttons, and even typing text. It's quite practically a way for you to easily automate any web-based task. But what if I was to tell you that there is a better platform that's out there and it outperforms even Claude's computer use? Well, allow me to introduce H. H is a platform designed for developers to create scalable, production-ready automations with ease. As its core is Runner H, a flagship web agent that enables users to automate complex web apps like navigating interfaces, interpreting documents, and even clicking components through natural language commands. This eliminates repetitive manual work and streamlines web testing and process automation. Runner H is said to outperform Anthropic's computer use API on benchmarks like Web Voyager, offering state-of-the-art performance. The platform is built with specialized, smaller, and more cost-effective in-house models that provide better performance than larger, generalist models like Claude. And the best part is, you can join the private beta waitlist. It is free, fast, and people will get exclusive content before others very soon. So go ahead and sign up with the link in the description below for the waitlist. Let's take a look at Runner H in action, which is the most advanced AI agent that's designed for real-world applications. It goes beyond outperforming competitors in speed and accuracy as it can handle a much broader range of tasks as well as solving challenges others can't. For instance, in tasks like Web Voyager, Runner H is going to show its superior performance by tackling tasks that typical web services struggle with. One example is using Google Maps. To map bus stops across the entire city, something other tools might fall and fail executing smoothly. With Runner H, these complex tasks are completed effortlessly and it showcases its versatility in power and automation. Here is a prompt given to both of the agents, Runner H as well as Cloud Computer Use, where they are asked to find the latest scores from Milwaukee Bucks in the last two days. And we can see that Runner H instantly extracts data as it's posted and it uses advanced reasoning to process the queries, which is delivering exactly what you need quite fast, efficiently, and reliably. Now you can see Cloud Computer Use is taking up a lot more steps in this process, but with Runner H, we were able to accurately get up-to-date information without any sort of delay quite quickly. This is all going to be accessible through the studio, which is their platform for developers to run these automations at scale. And Runner H, which is going to be the agent that's going to be deployed throughout the studio. This is going to be available in terms of their API fairly soon. So go ahead and join the private beta waitlist, which I'll leave a link to in the description below so that you can easily get started. With the beta release of Runner H, they're actually breaking through limitations of plateauing scaling laws and taking significant steps forward in artificial super intelligence. Runner H isn't just a product, it's going to mark a beginning of a new chapter in AI. We're going to be able to automate so many different types of things. We're going to be able to work with reasoning and real world task execution. It's a breakthrough that's going to set a stage for more powerful intelligent systems that can handle increasingly complex challenges with ease and precision. The main reason why the studio and runner H was introduced was because web developers often struggled while maintaining selectors and fixing broken automations. And this is the constant UI changes. This is where Runner H comes into place, where it's going to be available to the studio, but it's going to solve this by understanding natural language instruction. It's going to be adapting to UI changes, and it's going to be self-healing. This is going to let developers focus on workflow semantics and production, which is going to save time for higher value tasks. Now, this is where you're going to be able to access the private data soon, and it's going to include the API to call off the shelf and manage agents running in the cloud, you will also be able to access the studio. This is going to be used to create automations, review and edit past and live runs. Now you may be wondering, how did they power Runner H and support its vision capabilities? 
Well, this is by training their own internal family of large Nagesh models, which are designed specifically for a Gentic era, combining fundamental programming skills with high-level decision-making. Now, their HLM serves as the backbone for their vision large language model and can also be utilized for text-only tasks in their agents. Their 2 billion parameter model demonstrated exceptional performance in code and function calling, where it's outperforming much larger models, highlighting its efficiency and capability to handle complex projects. So you can see over here that their H2 billion parameter model is even outperforming Llama 3.2, as well as Mistral, as well as many of the other types of variations of these two models. Now, in the evaluation of Runner H01 against competitors on the Web Voyager benchmark, it actually outperformed many of the other agents, achieving a 67%, which is definitely better compared to the Emergence Agent E, as well as Anthropic's computer use, which reported a 52%. Now, in this evaluation, they conducted using the auto-evaluator method, which is based on GPT for Omni, and it assessed the agent's accuracy and consistency in retrieving information from live public websites. You can see how great Runner H01 is in comparison to many of these other agents. Now, this is the detailed result list on code performance using Human Eval and many of the other benchmarks and function calling with the BFCL datasets. Now for fair evaluation, to make sure that there is no biases, they decontaminated their fine-tuning data by removing any document containing an overlapping word with the prompts from their main benchmarks. And it's just great to see that they're doing something like this, where they are using a fair evaluation process and also highlighting how well this model performs in various other benchmarks. What's quite impressive and interesting is that the performance of Runner H01 is greatly showcased between this comparison in the Web Voyager tasks on different types of executions. You have eight different types of executions, and it is definitely compared against the Anthropic computer use agents. It's across different tasks within these different domains, such as searching the web, as well as executing tasks, finding recipes the dictionary, asking and finding the best routes on Google Map, and so much more. You can see that this is something that excels both in speed and accuracy in many different domains, and this comparison is definitely showcasing its superior efficiency in handling complex web-based tasks. What's crazy is the fact that this model is outperforming large generalist models in accuracy, which is just insane. We see the HVLM 3B at the top of the leaderboard. This is while being significantly cheaper and faster to serve, making it the strongest small model in this category versus GPT-4 Omni, Cloud 3.5 Sonnet with tool use as well as with computer use, and it's just great to see. Now within the studio, you're gonna be able to create powerful automations for complex workflows, such as something like an N10 e-commerce scenario or a financial service onboarding system. You're gonna be able to do a lot with this. But that's about it for today's video on Runner H. This is something that is a significantly forward in web automation while offering unmatched reliability, efficiency, and scalability. This is something that I definitely recommend that you take a look at, especially joining the private beta waitlist. This is a link that I'll leave in the description below, and I definitely recommend that you sign up and join the waitlist so that you can easily access the private API when it does release. But well, with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Huge respects to H Company for working on such a great project. This is something that I definitely will look forward to and will make a lot of videos on in the future. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity. I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon and make sure you join our private Discord. Follow me on Twitter so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe. Turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.